What's up YouTube? So your boy Rakama Tech is back in the building again and this long awaited delay I'm actually I'm gonna review the Sony 1000X Mark II's versus these Audio-Technica SR5BT's. So differences between the two I'm actually gonna compare some things just as uh, not only sound but I'm gonna do design, comfort, functionality and we're actually just gonna talk a little bit about the differences between the two there. So over the last maybe one and a half weeks or so, I've had some good time to actually put into uh, wearing and using both of these in different environments such as cutting the grass, playing video games, watching Netflix, watching, listening to music in the gym, things of that nature. And I'm, I came to a point where at, I guess they, they have impressed me in both different ways. So let's go ahead and get to it. With the Sonys, first of all, the build quality is, I mean, I do like how big the, the cups are. They do fit over your ears pretty well. And I, that's one thing I do admire about these, but the build quality is just kind of eh. You know, it's good it's, as far as it's durable. Like, they, they, the bands are actually pretty flexible. But, uh, and it looks like they can actually hold a, a good little load of stress. But it's, it's plastic mostly. And with that, the build quality is air for me. It's it's okay. It, it works. It fits. It's durable. Like yeah, I think you can throw these around a little bit, and not they won't get dinged up too bad. But um, one thing I do like about the build quality is is the size of the ear cups. They're comfortable. The ear cups are like really squishy, and once they fit in your ears, like they they really help that noise cancellation factor there. So uh, with the Sony, um, I'd say they did a pretty good job with the build. But I think they could be they could do just a little bit better. So looking at the Audio Technicas, the build here, I love this build actually. They have like an all leather, a leather band to go around your head here. And then you have the ear cups. They're not as big as the Sony, but they do feel really good. They're like nice and comfy. Uh, and then also on each cap, you have uh, an actual metal cap on the on the end. So they actually, it just feels good. I mean, it just feels like a really solid build. So with that, the next thing I actually want to talk about since the, we've covered the build there, I'm actually going to give the, the build, <laughs> I'm actually going to give the win to the uh, Audio Technicas for just the build quality because it's, it's built really well. I think they took their time with the craftsmanship with this. And um, next topic I actually want to talk about is the functionality here. So uh, with that, the uh the way that neither one of these honestly is a win in the, in the functionality department because they to me the biggest thing is, is pairing it and it's simple to pair it but it's just redundant that you have to keep doing it over and over for each device that you want to have it paired to so if i have it paired to my ipad but i want to have it paired to one of my phones later on i have to go to the bluetooth settings menu and repair it for both of these and I think that's kind of nonsensical in a way so the the bows I had and I guess maybe I'm spoiled because the bows I had you can just go ahead and flip the switch and it'll try to auto detect what device it's it's trying to pair to but these you have to manually do it so uh, that's kind of a downer there but uh, let's talk about some of the controls like the audio technica you actually have physical controls and I think I like that better just because the physical physical controls you kind of know where your fingers are versus the digital I guess you would say the capacitive controls there or maybe some kind of sensor it's probably capacitive but on the right ear cup you have uh, you have some swipe gestures that you can actually use to increase the volume lower the volume pause play your music and also answer and receive phone calls and end phone calls so you have like a gesture based situation with the Sony's whereas you do have a physical situation with the Audio Technica's and with the Audio Technica's they uh, they both eat devices so you've got uh, a switch that you can toggle up and down to adjust the volume uh, on the Audio Technica's and you also have an on and off switch there so how you would actually pair it up is when you turn when you actually turn the Audio Technica's on you just have to go ahead and, and press and hold down that, that pause play button for a few seconds and then you'll see the light kick in and it'll flash blue and red. That lets you know it's ready to be paired. So they both also charge by, uh, they also charge by micro USB. So 
Uh, as far as how quick it charges, honestly, I haven't really had time to really check that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know, battery life is not an issue. If you throw these things, you know, whenever it's low and you, you go to sleep at night and you just charge these with your, with your phone and all the rest of your devices, you're not gonna have any problems. You'll be ready to go. So with that, once again, I don't know which one I'm actually really in favor of here just because I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with the physical con controls just because it, you know where your finger is because there's some times when I've swiped up on this that I've actually gone to the next track. I'm gonna go ahead and give this just for predictability. I'm gonna go with the physical controls with the um, with the Audio Technicus. Here, so another category I want to talk about is battery life too with these. Uh, you got 30 on the Sony, you got 38 with the Audio Technica. So battery life is not gonna be an, an issue for either of those. Like I haven't really had to go back and charge either of these <laughs> in the last week and a half. So uh, honestly, that's battery life is a win no matter which one you go with. Uh, lastly, I wanna go ahead and talk about the sound because this is what makes or breaks a lot of these. For me, uh, the, big, uh, the big winners here is always gonna be comfort. It's gotta be comfortable and I have to really have good sound. So, and those of you who listen to a lot of music reviews and uh, headphones reviews and speaker reviews, things of that nature, which uh, y'all typically look for, people typically look for are three categories, or, or they try to place each, each speaker or audio device in a certain category. First category is called, is called bright. Uh, and typically bright means that you hear this device or this speak, this particular headphones are capable of producing more mids or highs, uh, and then you kind of have. But in some some instances, you may have some clarity in there, and sometimes it's more of preferentials. But if you have a device that that's producing so uh, that's producing a bright sound, that's typically what you hear is more highs and more mids. And then you also have a second category, which is called neutral which is kind of a perfect blend, uh, which in <laughs> some utopian world, it exists, but in reality, it doesn't exist because you can't have one speaker that just produces so many different frequencies that pro produces a perfect sound where it's, it's not high uh, or it's not too low. But in, in essence, typically that's why we have, even in our cars, we got tweeters and you have the speakers and you have to have different sizes of speakers to emit different frequencies. So, then you have the third category, which is called warm. Warm is more so you're gonna hear, you have your bass. It's gonna be more a little bit more bass heavy than you would have your mids. Um, but in this in this circumstance, between the two of these, uh, and a lot of reviews on Amazon will say the Audio Technicas are very bright. Um, I'm gonna say it's a tad on the bright side. It's not gonna be super super bright where you can't wear these for hours and. And after that, your ears are ringing because you're just hearing so much high and vocals and things like that. But I'd say they're going to be on a tad on the bright side, but they're clear. You know, I don't have any issue with distortion or anything like that. They're very clear. But however, I'm going to say one thing is that the volume is not as high as it should be on Bluetooth and over wired. I think it could just be a tad higher and I think the volume would actually be just fine. But however, I will say this, the bass is not very, it's not gonna be anywhere near as good as these. Uh, the bass is more of a tight bass. It's not gonna be like thumping bass that you hear. Bass could be a tad better, but I think some people who prefer clarity over uh, muddy bass or so, they're gonna like these. But um, let's go ahead and talk about the Sony, because every time I put these on, it's just a dream. <laughs> so it's like that that warm I'm gonna put these on the warm side these are gonna be your your bass you, you're gonna have uh, a lot of depth of sound you've got uh, noise counseling I'm not saying that these don't have noise counseling but the, you still hear some ambient noise coming through with these but with these uh, all day long you can't hear anything like no matter what you're doing uh, cut the grass I mean of course the lawnmower is so loud you, you're not gonna hear you're gonna hear the lawnmower over these but for typical, most for most average environments, the auto noise canceling is 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 there. That's where it is. So, um, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy with these more so than these just for the sound because I'm gonna say this. Um, there, if you put if you actually use an equalizer with these, because I have watched some movies and things where it just sounded just right, but most tracks and things that I listen to, it it to me the weak sound is kind of what gets me there. 
um, but the the Sony's these these things have I would say the right sound level and I'm gonna say the bass is so much that I have to kind of like play around with the equalizer and I put it on like maybe mellow or so so that, that the bass isn't like overwhelming but I could still feel it and uh, and, I, and it's not thumping because I think when you have it on bass boost mode you just hear that thumping bass and I mean for those of you who like that that's fine but that's not my personal preference when I'm listening to music but with that I'm going to go ahead and, and declare these the winner just because I mean I'm not even going to say battery life but they both have good great batteries uh, I'm just going to say this one that the ear cups are a tad small for me the air cups feel better for me with these and the sound is just so good like I mean no matter what you're doing when you're playing video games you're looking at uh, you know watching Netflix or whatever you whatever you're doing you, you always get like great sound through these and it's just to me it's overwhelming and this is a unanimous winner right now so thanks for watching the review stay tuned to the channel for more and subscribe take care peace